Assalamu alaikum everybody my name is Sarah Durrani and welcome back to my channel today in this video we'll be discussing about a novel how it happened it is by one of the Pakistani novelist or writer so we'll be discussing about the author characters list chapter wise summary till seven seven chapters only summary overview and critical analysis so let's begin with it this is the second video on YouTube about this novel, How It Happened by Shazaf Fatma Hadder. One of the video has been uploaded on this um, topic or novel, but that is not actually related to how the characters are, the summary, the overview, or the critical analysis. That's just two people are talking about the novel. So I'll be giving in-depth explanation of this novel, so kindly keep watching. If you want to know more about this novel, so now to talk about the author, so Shada Fatma Hadar is Pakistani born UK writer. She moved to UK while she was in Pakistan. She did study here. Then she did a master's in English literature and she did write two novels. How It Happened was her first book and Firefly in the Dark was her second book. How It Happened is written in 2012. It is a satire on arranged marriages. She is full-time mother and part-time writer. Her writings revolve around middle-class Pakistani families and has been greatly appreciated by readers and critics. This novel even gives a funny side of arranged marriages and how the various cultural backgrounds in Pakistan adds more humor to the phenomenon. The genre of this book is satire and humor. So basically, uh, the question arises here, ke satire kya hota hai? satire ye hota hai when you criticize people's stupidity or the exaggeration about a particular thing that is not um, more of a problem, but people make it. Those of Fatma ki jo novels to hai, ek to bacho ki hai on how it happened, jo novel hai wo mostly middle class pe based hai, is me puri family batai vi hai, popos and chachas and the main protagonist or the main character is Dadi who is the grandmother. She is searching for a Shia groom for her um, granddaughter. In Chizo me satire or irony ya humor easily we add kia because there are few elements um, in our society, Pakistani society, or I would believe that in the middle class, joke agar serious kar diya jai to bohat zada, it leads to depression, anxiety, and whatnot. So, therefore, in this novel, a lot of elements have been described of the Pakistani society, but it um, has given a touch of humor in it. Starting with the characters, the first we have Dadi, the grandmother, her name is Gulbahar. Kurat Dadi, a distinct relative and rival of Dadi, her, his son, married an American, African American named whatever, who later accepted Islam and became Maryam. Her daughter was Parmeen, Parveen, and granddaughter was Noreen. Now, in this family, we have few adults like Popos and Chachas. Apart from this, we have six main characters, who is the uh, family of uh, the main character, Saleha. Their first popo has Akina Popo, her eldest daughter. She married Hussain Alam. Alam. Isne ek admi se shadi ki thi. Uska naam Hussain Alam tha. Or jo ke mostly communist tha. Communist ho hota hai jo ke belief rakhe ke saari chizhe government run kare. Wo government ke under aai. Private ownership na ho. But capitalism mein private ownership ho di hai. Isi liye ye do contrary theories hai. So he was a failed uh, poet and he was apparently a communist as well. He lives in Calcutta. The next popo is Fatma Popo, her favorite sister of her father. She never had any child. Now this is Saleha saying that this is my father's best sister or favorite sister. Hai. She never had any children. Her uh, husband died. She now manages a fashion magazine in Lahore. She is modern and a feminist. One of these feminist is that she was married and now she arranges a fashion magazine in Lahore. Next we have Zana Popo. She married Kareem who worked as a stockbroker. She has five sons and all lives in Canada. Stock broker kya hota hai ki ye jo stock market hoti hai is pe buying and selling wala kaam jo karte hain to they buy and sell few things and like uh, shares buy and sell karna to wo stock broker hota hai. Iske paanj bache the jo ki bete the and all left in Canada. 
Next we have is the Rania Popo. So she married Suleiman III who fell in love with her after seeing her reflection in the champagne glass. He held a protest fast until his marriage proposal was accepted. Both live in Bombay. Rania ki life mein aisa hua tha ki ek ladki ne iska reflection champagne glass mein dekha tha and then um, because iska marriage proposal accept nahi ho raha tha to then um, isne roza rakha tha whatever and now they both got married and both live in Bombay. Then Salia, the main character, has even Chacha. So Abbas Chacha, he died young after drink, drinking contaminated water. So Gande Pani Pi Liya Tha, but then he was Pani Mein Asa Kya Tha, what if poisonous or any harmful substance was there, so he died. There's another Chacha, Saleha Farid Chacha, he was a lover. He fell in love with Aisha, whose parents wanted him to convert. Dadi hated this. Iske baad, uh, Farid Chacha ne ek army joined ki thi, or other ye East Pakistan ke saad. He went with East Pakistan to be with his lover. And later on, he was killed in the war. So basically, he was not married and he died in the war. Next we have Hasina Popo, so she wasn't good looking, so she had difficulty in marriage. She eventually married at an old age. Saleha doesn't like either of them. Her son Hassan is nice though. Actually, ke mostly bache aise hain ke they do not like their immediate families. Even I would say a lot of them. Na unko mother side pasand hai, na father side na cousins pasand hote hain. To Sal Saleha ka bhi isi tarah ka behavior tha. Isko koi bhi nahi pasand hota tha. Na popo na koi bhi nahi. Malaika popo she married Rahil popa. Ab Malaika ek aur popo hai. Isne Rahil se shaadi ki thi. She rejected the first time when turned a proud person. He came to fall in love with her. He courted her for a year and then both love each other terribly now. So Malaika Popo ko ek larka pasand tha. Rahil uske baad um, proud ho gaya tha ki usne isse pyar kiya hai and later on he left her. Uske baad unne one year date kiya hai and now they are in love with each other. So Saleha's father name is Hussain Bandian. He was Saleha's father and he was the youngest and only surviving son. He works as a doctor now. Six main characters are Saleha, the main character of the novel Harun Bhai, the eldest brother of Saleha. He finished his mastery in BA from New York University. He is beloved by Dadi Zeva Baji, the eldest sister of Saleha. She was beautiful. Saima, the girl that Harun had fallen in love with her. Her mother's name is Shehla. Father is Tanvir and sister is Fosia. Next we have are the six candidates. So Mad Madam Yuni Brow, Dadi and Saleha didn't like her appearance. Harun was fine but didn't like her socialist view. She rejected Harun because she didn't like Zeba. Makes no sense. Then a big bachi thi, wo young thi bohat, or everybody may, used to make jokes at her. Dadi thought she was perfect. Another person we have is Batul. She was physically attractive, but uh, you know, she was quite religiously orthodox. But she religion. Ko leke. Isne she was rejected. Then we have Ambreen, who was Miss Proactive. She was too independent and mostly people didn't like her. Harun refused after she said that she didn't want to live in a joint family. So ye mostly Harun ke rishte hain. Jo ke ab isne bhi reject kar diya tha to live in a joint family. Therefore Harun refused to marry her. Ye Pakistan ke middle class family ke masle bataya hoon hai. Ke how conservative and how these people are. Sarcasm hai, irony hai. Idhar ek ladki hai Shireen the op. So the oppressed one or the suppressed one definitely she was dominated by her mother Harun agreed to marry her but her mother rejected for that she found her someone else for her daughter a 50 year old businessman so samajh aa rahi hai how weird or conservative the mind of people are checked a young guy but to marry her daughter to a 50 year old businessman the another we have is the one with the peculiar brother she didn't like Harun but her brother fell in love with Saleha they rejected the brother so there are different issues in different families and mostly people are dominated uh, and few of these children are suppressed or oppressed and for that reason even we have to listen to our parents because uh, we live in pakistan and this is our society these are the rules and the norms we follow
Therefore, these were the whole reasons, the irony, the sarcasm and the conservativeness in a family that was found even in this novel, in this particular family of Saleha. I hope you people have understood every character because I have given in-depth explanation of each character. Moving towards the summaries or the chapter by summarization. So let's begin. Starting off with the summary, the first chapter may how Dadi got carried away. اس کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ دادی کی شادی کیسے ہوئی تو دادی واز بیوٹیفل بٹ ہر میرج پروپوزلس ور آفن فال دو شی لائک ہر مدر بلیمڈ بلیک میجک فار ایٹ فائنلی ون ڈے دادا کیم آن ہار سو دادی فیل این لو این دا واز ایٹ یہ اسٹوری ہے دادی کی جو کہ سب کو سناتی ہیں اور صالحہ بالکل بھی بلیو نہیں کرتی اس اسٹوری پہ کیونکہ وہ کہتی ہیں کہ اٹ از اے پلمپ این ہر دادی واز این ایسٹمیٹک یہ بھی کہ کیونکہ دادی کو ارینج میرجز پسند تھی اسی لیے دادی نے یہ ایک کوئی کائنڈ آف اسٹوری پک کی ہے ان دا ویری فرسٹ چیپٹر از اٹ از دی ریمائنڈر آف دی امفیسز آن دی ارینج میرج ایز اے سمبل آف ورچو اینڈ گڈنیس تو یہ فرسٹ چیپٹر کی سمرائزیشن تھی کہ دادی نے اپنی پوری اسٹوری بتائی اینڈ دس واز دا فرسٹ سمبلزم ان دا چیپٹر سیکنڈ چیپٹر میں ہاؤ دی باندینس فار میرڈ اسالیہ نوٹیبلی ڈسکرائبس ڈاٹر ایز این ڈس ایڈوانٹیج این انٹروڈکشن ٹو دا فیملی ممبرز یہ جتنی بھی کیریکٹرس کی ان ڈیپتھ ایکسپلینیشن دی ہے بولا بھی ہے بتایا بھی ہے کلیئر ٹرمس میں تو یہ ساری انٹروڈکشن ہے سیکنڈ چیپٹر میں صالحہ نے بتائی ہوئی ہے پوپوز اور چاچاز اینڈ ہر سسٹر ہارون شی واز کلیئرلی باس ٹوورڈ ہیم دادی کرائڈ وین ہارون واز ایکسپٹیڈ بائی نیو یارک یونیورسٹی شی ڈٹ ناٹ وانٹ ہیم ٹو لیو اٹ واز ڈیفیکلٹ ٹو سلیپ وتھ دادی شی ووڈ ویک اپ ان دی میڈل آف دا نائٹ اینڈ اسٹارٹ پرینگ فار آرٹس اینڈ اور شی واز ریئلی سپرسٹیشیس شی آلویز ٹرائی ٹو کاؤنٹر ایول اینڈ اسپیرٹ with um, spices and blowing prayers she also tried to take credit for raising the children when all she did was uh, giving orders dadi was racist toward dark skinned people dadi allowed harun to go after he promised not to marry an american they often clashed with saber because both had the same dominant nature dadi made a list of requirements that harun potentially wife had to fulfill dadi had her own philosophy which emphasized fairness and chastity harun wanted to meet girls directly in the first meeting and didn't want dowry this shocked dadi who felt us had corrupted him ab basically is third chapter mein ye hai ki dadi ki full and fledged life ke bare mein bataya gaya hai wo kaisi thi wo har time uh, بہت ریلیجیس تھی نمازیں پڑھتی تھی ان کو ایسے نظر پہ شک ہوتا تھا کہ نظر لگ گئی ہے اس کو اور اس کو اس کی وجہ سے یہ مرچ جلاتی تھی اپارٹ فرام دیٹ وہ دعائیں پڑھ کے پھونکتی تھی اس کے بعد ان کو زیبا بالکل بھی پسند نہیں تھی کیونکہ ان کو کیونکہ زیبا کی بھی نیچر ڈومینیٹنگ تھی اینڈ دادی کی بھی تھی اور ان نے ہمیشہ کہا کہ میری اپنے آپ کو کریڈٹ دیا کہ میں نے بچے اس طرح کتنی پرفیکٹلی ریس کی ہیں بٹ دادی نے ایسا کچھ بھی نہیں کیا تھا اپارٹ فرام گیونگ آڈرس ٹو دیم ان کو ہارون بہت زیادہ پسند تھا ہارون صالحہ کا بھائی تھا ہارون نیو یارک یونیورسٹی جانا چاہتا تھا اینڈ ہی واز ایکسپٹیڈ دیئر ایز ویل پر دادی نے اس سے پرامس دیا تھا کہ تم کوئی امیرکن لڑکی سے شادی نہیں کرو گی دین لیٹر آن دادی نے کوئی ایسی لسٹ بنائی تھی جو ایسی وائف ہارون کے لیے ہوگی جو کہ پوٹینشیلی ایک اس لسٹ پہ پورا اترے گی اس کے بال ایسے ہوں گے پھر اس طرح ہوگا اس کی نیچر ایسی ہوگی اینڈ دین لیٹر آن ان کی دادی کی فلاسفی یہ تھی کہ وہ فیئر ہیں بہت زیادہ اور شی بلیو ان چاسٹی ویئر این ویئر ایز ہارون یہ چاہتا تھا کہ وہ لڑکی سے ملے ایک کی فرسٹ گو میں فرسٹ میٹ اپ پہ اینڈ دین وہ ڈاوری نہیں چاہتا تھا کوئی جہیز نہیں چاہتا تھا ڈاوری کی بات سنتے ہی دادی کو لگتا تھا کہ یو ایس نے ہارون کو کرپٹ کیا ہے کیونکہ ادھر کے ایسے لاز نہیں ہے ٹو آسک فار ڈاوری اینڈ دیر فور دادی کو یہ بات اچھی نہیں لگتی تھی موونگ ٹوورڈس دا فورتھ اینڈ دا ففتھ چیپٹر سو ہاؤ وی سرچ فار گرلس از دی ٹائٹل آف دی فورتھ چیپٹر سو اے وزٹ ٹو دا ہاؤس آف سکس گرلس اٹ انکلوڈس میڈم یونیم راؤ دا انفینٹ ویل ٹونڈ زیئر لٹ ہو 
Miss Proactive, who was Ambreen, the oppressed one was Shireen, and the one with the bestular brother. So these were the girls they searched for. Like in Enko, koi bhi pasand nahi aayi thi. The fifth chapter deals with how Ma Harun convinced Dadi. So everybody tried after the search. Harun suddenly mentioned a girl from his office. He asked if they can visit her as well. Dadi was initially reluctant. She accused Harun of having. of having secretly fallen in love with the inviolation of family traditions because dadi always wanted their children or grandchildren to be as married in arranged marriage dadi and seba argued and then dadi and saleha argued both supported harun he tried his best as well finally harun managed to convince her to visit saima they left the decision on her hands in her hands ab baat is hai ki harun ke rishte ki baat aa gayi hai and isko koi ladki pasand thi jiska naam साइमा था उसकी वजह से इसकी बहनों ने इसको पूरा सपोर्ट किया हारून को बट दादी आर्ग्यूड एंड देन लाइक आप दादी आर्ग्यूड विद सेवा एंड देन साल आर्ग्यूड विद दादी सो लाइक लेटर ऑन देन दादी वॉज कन्विंस्ड सम हाउ वी कैन से दैट next chapter we have is 6th and 7th chapter summary how harun got engaged they went to saima's house both harun and rad dadi tried to out watch the other in getting ready harun felt nauseous and even vomited and overall visit even went well apparently harun had given instruction to saima on what to do in front of dadi later Shahla revealed that Saima couldn't cook. Dadi and Ami had a whole argument on the matter. Dadi insulted Ami a bit, so Ami went on about Fatma. Anyhow, Fatma was one a hell of feminist. Or on when Dadi mani gayi Harun ke rishte ke liye, to Saima ke ghar ye log gaye. Or uske baad Saima ko instructions di gayi thi Harun se, and Harun ne usko sab kuch samjaya hua tha. Saima ne usi tarah kiya jis tarah Harun ne kaha to act like. दिस 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 इन फ्रंट ऑफ दादी एंड शी डिड वेल बट लेटर ऑन भाषाइमा की अम्मी शहला ने सब कुछ बता दिया कि मेरी बेटी शी कैन नॉट कुक तो फिर दादी और इस तरह चकरा हो गया इनके घर में तो दादी ने अम्मी के साथ चकरा किया एंड देन जो दादी की डॉटर थी फातमा जो कि फातमा पोपो है सालिया की बुशी वो जफेमिनिस्ट एंड शी नेवर बिलीव इन सच थिंग्स ट्रेडिशनल वैल्यूज तो उसके बाद फातमा ने अपनी माँ से जो कि ग्रांड मदर है साल की उनके इसके साथ लाइक आर्ग्यूमेंट काइंड ऑफ हुआ This is all what happened in chapter six. Then in the chapter seven, half a phone call created complications. So Dadi called Kurat to show off Harun's wedding. Ab jo Kurat thi, wo kind of a family member, second cousin, um, thi Dadi ki, and uh, unne call ki um, Kurat ko to show off a bit about Harun's wedding. Both were rivals in one sense. Kurat revealed that her own granddaughter was getting married. So Dadi ko bahut ajeeb laga. and because she felt as if i lost but that's not the case in real i don't know why dadi was like this but it is shown that how middle class pakistani people are later on dadi decided to find a husband for zeba to steal the attention from nureen it was all about i could give the chapter wise summarization coming towards the overview of the summary and the critical analysis so the novel how it happened 2012 by Shazaf Fatma Hader the story is narrated by youngest of the family members a 15 year old Saleha which i i have already told you guys Saleha narrates the story she is the protagonist she is the main character and um, we did discuss their uh, her family the story revolves around Shia Bandian family of the village of uh, khuraj in the india subcontinent who lives in karachi pakistan shazaf mainly at times speak tongue in Speak of for Pakistani society and tradition. It is noticeably fact that values, tradition, ideologies, and lifestyles keep on changing over time due to the change in world view and currently adopted concepts and ideas. So basically. हाउ इट हैपन एक नावल है जिसमें साल सारी स्टोरी बताती है जिसमें एक दादी होती है इनकी सेटिंग कराची है और ये ये भी बोल रहे हैं कि हमारे कुछ वैल्यूज़ ट्रेडिशंस आइडियोलॉजीज़ हैं लाइफ स्टाइल हैं जो कि समाइम्स क्योंकि जनरेशन में गैप जब आ जाता है तो डेफिनेटली इट डज चेंज लेकिन क्योंकि दादी करेंटली शी डज नॉट एक्सेप्ट दिस काइंड ऑफ अ फैक्ट एंड 
therefore minor misunderstandings happen there are other contradictory views about um, other family members about other ideologies customs traditions but constant distress and confusion occur between the two female protagonist two female protagonist ek zeba hai aur ek dadi hai jinke uh, mostly tug of war ho rahi hoti hai unke beech mein arguments mein because zeba contemporary era ki ladki hai aur ya we can say ki she is the um, daughter of dadi and she is a popo of sareha but still inke kyunki she is the feminist kind of a person इसके बाद वेन हारून द एल्डेस्ट सन वॉन्ट्स टू गो टू न्यू यॉर्क फॉर स्टडीज इज़ अ ग्रेजुएट ऑफ आई बी है दादी अपोज द आइडिया ऑफ स्टडिंग अब्रॉड तो दादी डज नॉट अप्रूव ऑफ हारून गोइंग टू न्यू यॉर्क फॉर स्टडीज एंड लेटर ऑन शी गेट्स कन्विंस्ड बिकॉज हारून से इज दैट ही प्रोमिस आई वॉन्ट मैरी एन अमेरिकन गर्ल लेटर ऑन हारून प्रोमिस दैट ही वुड मैरी अ गर्ल दादी चूज फॉर हिम दैन देर इज द आइडियल काइंड ऑफ अ लिस्ट ऑफ अ गर्ल Um, uh, Harun would be marrying. This kind of a concept has been taken a taboo that girls cannot choose a person for themselves to marry. He even has a fear that um, Harun would go and marry a girl with a dark skin, and she would not fulfill the criteria of what she think of to be a girl like that in a, in an Eastern environment and the. culture so zeba is the sister of harun and zeba argues with dadi always so she says dadi you are being unfair and zeba baji protested harun bhai should have given the freedom to marry anybody he likes but later on dadi um, is convinced because harun likes a girl saima and then things go in a sequential way on the argument of zeba so dadi says that you be quiet listen to you you should he should marry somebody he likes uh, husain looks at what your daughter is saying that is more kind of a conservative thinking she has and she cannot approve of this that her uh, granddaughters would talk to her like this in such a way because she has been brought up in a different environment and girls in the contemporary era are uh, been brought up in a different environment on another occasion the subject is being again the marriage of harun again time and again harun ki shaadi ko discuss kiya ja raha hai jisme azeba is not the say of the same view she again says that we are talking about a girl not a plastic scene to like ladki jo hai ek human consider karni chahiye usko um ek plastic ki gudiya nahi consider karni chahiye isliye zeba because she is even a feminist to isliye ye baatein discuss ki gayi hain time and again minor arguments and depression confusion the satire the irony has been discussed time and again in this novel how typical of our scenes are at home because we are not even given the right to choose a husband for our own self because in our religion uh, islam we are given the right girls are given the right to choose any partner for themselves like if he or he is muslim like this is the thing but here even harun is not given the right so um the criteria of being a girl is a uh, लेफ्ट फार बिहाइंड तो जेवा के यही ख्याल हैं कि एटलीस्ट एक लड़की को या एक इंसान को ये राइट तो देना चाहिए कि वो अपनी लाइ अपना लाइफ पार्टनर चूज कर सके सो सिमिलरली हारून हैज द राइट ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन हैज द राइट टू लिव हिज लाइफ द वे ही लाइक्स सो शी इज करेजियस इनफ टू बी टू आर्ग्यू विद द मेट्रार्कियल ऑफ द फैमिली दो नो वन इज अलाउड टू आर्ग्यू विद दादी दे हैव बीन इवन thought that girls from respected families do not even speak they just listen and obey what they are told the had no schooling and another social circle she learned all at home what was regarding education and she had been traditionally trained at home that's why she was like this her mindset was this she was kind of much of a conservative thinking she had so the women who do this duty of housekeeping and raising children well are characterized as respectable and successful women therefore even uh, this was the concept about harun as well he was not allowed to choose a life partner for himself but it was mainly the concept circulating for women they were restricted to their homes because women are always at the periphery and men being the male shamanism has been Uh, regulated but here even 
patriarchy system is going on the dadi is the dominant one and all the people are suppressed this was the distinct theme in it i don't understand why people or the girls who say that they are feminist would only deal with that um wo baaki ho jayengi ya wo um like aisa nahi hai jo feminist hote hain wo apne liye acha sochte hain talking about in their independence or their well being they being educational i do not understand why people say that being a feminist is wrong because feminism indicates that asking for the basic human or women rights it's not that people have to over blind over things or situations they have the girls just want their or women just want their basic rights which is not which are not even given to them in any circumstances girls cannot talk about themselves and why cannot they ever talk about harun for his rights because they all are human beings and they breathe they are not dumb they can speak and why they should not be um, like and why they should not be heard or see only seen they can differentiate between right and wrong and from early childhood they have been taught these things at home that do not speak keep quiet sit down your manner should be like this in a certain specific way to identify that you belong to this and this category in respectable families uh, girls does not do such things so why this is this has become a notion of a respectable girls <laughs> who talk about themselves are all always considered as disobedient for girls of the family so therefore zeva is considered as such zeva is treated as the rebel of the family because she has set her principles for leading an ideal life is the girl who is driven by the social norms of modern day and by the conflicting differences between both traditions and viewpoints as she progresses in her educational life In the novel changing roles of women have been portrayed greatly Saima whose Harun's wife presents the ability of women to work in a man's world and to be a liberal who is leading a life in accord with her mindset which is not even acceptable to her dadi like to the da- dadi of Harun this on given arguments and analysis it has been found that as change is permanent in human nature a shift in cultural culture is certain in their mobile society and shazav has justified that it is with her wit as dadi had to agree with new trends everyone has to accept the fact society is evolving day by day and even the new generation is coming up they are more sharp in nature everything surrounding is changing day by day and people has to accept that change sooner or later the culture has to decay and a new culture has to emerge according to social political and economic changes that take place in the time or with the time this novel proves this fact by the presenting of three generations in the same family the shift of culture takes the gap the generation but at last it happens the way old tradition of the bahuraj family come to its end by the marriage of seva a shia girl to a sunni boy so how it happened can be taken as a comic satire on the pakistani society novel mein three generations batayi hui hai ek dadi phir uske bacche aur phir uske bacche theek hai so um, isme ऐसे होता है कि एफ टी पी टी इज़ सो मच कंजर्वेटिव इन देर फैमिली एक तो दादी की अरेंज मैरिज हुई थी उसके बाद ही वॉन्ट्स अरेंज मैरिज टू गोज ऑन विद हर आर हर फैमिली विद इन हर फैमिली एंड देन वॉट हैपन्स दैट देर आर फ्यू रेबल्स इन दी सोसाइटी एज वेल पीपल डू टॉक अबाउट नाव अड इज सोशली इकनॉमिकली पोलिटिकली due to the sudden shift in these factors people do change their customs change their rituals change and most of the even most of the conservativeness is changed into modernism and therefore at last dadi cannot set her rules and principles in within the family and she has to accept the contemporary generations demands thank you so much for watching this video like subscribe and share i i try to give my best of this novel like subscribe and share as much as you people can thank you so much for watching meet you in the next video